The Gymnote was one of the world's first fully electric submarines and the first operational submarine equipped with torpedoes. Designed and constructed in France, it marked a pivotal moment in naval engineering during the late 19th century. The project began under Henri Dupuis de Lome and was completed by Gustave Zede and Arthur Krebs following Lome's death. Launched on the 24th of September 1888 at the Murion Arsenal in Toulon, the Gymnote was named after the electric eel species Gymnotidae, symbolizing its electric propulsion system. The Gymnote featured a single-hull steel structure with a detachable lead keel and was 17.8 meters in length with a surface displacement of 31 tons. It was powered initially by 564 Kamelin Bailhash Desmazur's alkaline cells using zinc and copper oxide, driving a 55 horsepower electric motor developed by Krebs. The electric motor could not be reversed immediately, posing operational challenges. Later upgrades included a more efficient solder Harley motor and new batteries, extending its underwater range up to 100 miles at four knots. Hydrostatic control was provided by three ballast tanks and hydroplanes. Originally fitted only with a stern rudder, the submarine faced stability issues at speeds above six knots. Additional rudders were installed midship in 1893, improving balance and control. The Gymnote carried two 355mm, 14-inch torpedoes for experimental use and tested various navigation systems, including the first naval periscope and an early gyroscopic compass. However, the periscope system was prone to leakage and caused dangerous flooding, leading to the addition of a small conning tower in 1898. Over its operational life, Gymno conducted over 2,000 dives. It demonstrated the feasibility of electric submarines and significantly influenced French naval development. In 1890, it successfully simulated breaking a naval blockade, showing its strategic potential. The submarine ran aground in March 1907. Later that year, it sank in dry dock due to an open hatch. Salvage was deemed too expensive, and it was scrapped in 1911. Despite its end, the Gymnote laid the foundation for modern submarine warfare, solidifying France's role as a pioneer in underwater naval engineering.